Welcome to the Intelligent PID workshop. In this workshop, we'll be examining control using a wireless measurement and a modification of the PID known as PID Plus and comparing this to control using wired measurements and a PID. In the uh, first part of the workshop, we'll be examining a module that we'll be using in the workshop to compare the control of wireless versus wired. We will then be initializing uh, our performance index that we'll be using, uh, integral of absolute error. We'll then introduce a set point and change and examine the behavior of the wireless control versus wired control. And then we'll be reinitializing our performance index and then introducing an unmeasured disturbance into both processes. The, uh, workshop will be uh, done using two simulations of a heater process, two identical processes. In one case, the measurement is wirelessly communicated back to the control where we're using the PID plus modification. The other is using uh, wired measurements and typical PID. Uh, set point changes are provided to both controls simultaneously. Also, load disturbances can be introduced into both unmeasured load disturbances to judge the control performance of each. In this uh, module that we'll be using in the workshop, the transmission composite is used to mimic uh, wireless communication. The PID that is used with wireless has the PID plus option enabled. This uh, modifies the way reset and derivative action is uh, done within the PID to handle wireless communication. We're judging control performance using integral of absolute error, so we're using the error between the measurement and the set point and accumulating that over time. Uh, for wired communication, we have a regular PID. Uh, the communication block, in this case, each execution is saying there's a new value. We're then uh, comparing uh, the integral of absolute error of that to wireless, as well as the number of communications. So let's go online and actually observe the module executing in the controller. So in the online mode, we see that the uh, PID um, is executing. The reset is set to true, so the two performance calculations are being set to zero. Um, the set point uh, that uh, is provided by a set point parameter is going to both the wireless and wired control. So both will receive any change in set point simultaneously. We'll uh, first uh, set the reset back to false so that integral of absolute error is now being calculated and we'll change the set point both to the wireless and wired control. When we make that set point change, there's an immediate error between measurement and set point. So the integral of absolute error starts to accumulate over time here. The control is now adjusting the output or the valve uh, to the process to get us back on uh, set point. We notice there is a difference between uh, the two. Best way to look at the difference in control is to actually look at a plot, though. Here we're showing the set point change in the PV, or the measurement of wired versus wireless. And below it, you're seeing the valve position for wireless control versus wired control. As you can see, there is very little difference between the two. Very, very difficult to even uh, see that on, on the trend. There is a slight difference then in the integral of absolute error. So you expect some difference, but you see that the number of communications, only 12 communications versus 318 for wired. So there is just a dramatic difference in the number of communications used in control. Uh, between these uh, two, and yet the control performance is almost identical. To look at low disturbances and how this is handled with wired versus wired, we'll set the calculation in, uh, index uh, of performance back to zero. Uh, so we have now set the integral of absolute error back to zero, and we'll introduce a 10% change in the disturbance to a process. So with this change and disturbance to the process, the measurement now will be deviating from set point, and both the wireless and wire controller are going to have to work to bring the process back to set point. 
uh, as we see the integral by absolute error, there is uh, a difference between the two. Uh, wired is not doing as well as uh, wireless is not doing as well as the wired. If we look at the trend, then you see that uh, the PV is brought back to set point faster using wired. The valve changes are many much fewer with the wireless and each time it does change it drives it exactly back to where the wired would have been at that point in time. So our integral of absolute error is, is larger for wireless versus wired but the number of communications are dramatically different 12 versus 325 in this case. So a factor of 30 approximately between number of communications required to control. So I hope this has been helpful to you in understanding the advantages of PID Plus when you're working with wire, wireless uh, measurements. This technique can also be used with sampled analyzers and we hope this has been helpful to you in understanding the capability it provides.